We had a great question come in from the community this week asking how in the Bedford template you create a slideshow in the banner area. And it's actually not specific only to the Bedford template, but also Hayden, which is what we're going to show you uh, in today, as well as some others. It doesn't require any custom coding, any CSS knowledge, nothing more than using the Squarespace tool set. And here's how you would do that. So we're looking at a page example here. And if you navigate on your site to pages, obviously navigate to the page you wish to place that slideshow on, and you would simply click on that page. Once you roll over your in this area with your mouse, you'll see page content and edit. You're going to click edit the page and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the teardrop and you're going to add a gallery slideshow. Once it opens the edit gallery block, you're going to drag one, two, three, however many images you wish to load into that gallery and let them load in and process. A couple of things to note while that's processing. If you click on the design option at the top, you'll want to have it checked on slideshow. If you'd like them to automatically transition, you can check that and then determine the speed at which those transition. You might decide you want to show arrows as a next and previous control. You would leave thumbnails off and then show title and description. You leave this set to bottom and hit save. Once you save that element on the page, it appears that nothing has changed. So refresh your page and now you would see what the public would see which is in fact a slideshow at the top now having replaced the single image. You can see that it's automatically rotating as well as has the arrows to progress forward and back. So the final component to that would be how do you add text, how do you add images. Again you would click on edit, you would go into the gallery block, double click on it, inside of the gallery block you would roll over whatever image you wanted to place text and or links on <coughs> click on settings and down here in the content area you might type some text you might bold this which would relate to a heading setting and hit save And now we load with the text that I had just put on, text area, another area for headings. And you can add links in there as well, which then would, of course, be controlled in the style editor. So once you add your captions, if you want to style those fonts and spacing and so forth, obviously go into the style editor. You would wait for that to rotate around, highlight or click, excuse me, on that area. And then you would have the settings for the heading font and the banner text font above. So again great question from the community <coughs> and a little recap on how to do that so to put the banner slideshow area or excuse me a slideshow in the banner area you're going to go to the actual page you wish to do that on edit the page at which point you're going to drop a gallery slideshow block into that page configure it with the correct images the right captions finally once you hit save and refresh that element being the first element on that page won't be shown publicly. It will then be forced up into the top and have that nice uh, gallery slideshow. Hope that helps. Give it a try. Let us know if you have any questions.